The Bible said that the king already invited some people to come and witness the wedding of his son. But people of God, at the nick of time, these people began to say, I will not come. It's not possible for me to come. There is a connection that was about to be made on that day. The king's son was going to be connected to someone's daughter. And that connection was going to lead to a people being fed. Let me also make you understand this. That the feeding of weddings in Israel usually would take seven days. So when the king invites you for that wedding, it means that for seven days, you'll be showing up to eat. Now, they all needed to know about a connection. That is all they needed to know. They don't have to be the ones connected. But some people's connection, two persons connected, will become dinner for the next seven days for other people that were not part of that arrangement. I need to say it again. Two people meeting themselves will become seven-day meal for somebody else. And all the person needed to do was just to show up. However, out of envy or jealousy or anger or whatever it is, they refuse to put themselves in line of other people's connection. Let me say something to you. There are connections going on now. They may not be directly connected to you. But people don't beef that connection because that connection can in turn become your blessing. Sir, let's come to party. Are you not aware that by this arrangement according to the Jewish culture that you're going to be eating for seven days? Listen, when God begins to connect someone one you know to something bigger. Don't beef that connection. Because that connection can eventually become your seven day meal. Two people, the husband and wife getting married. All I just needed to do was just to show up. All I just need to do was just to be happy for them. All I just needed to do was just to come in there and say hey, ah, what is going on? No, I am happy. Oh, you sit down, they give you rice. You eat and go home. Remind all your children, we're going back there tomorrow. That is how you're going to eat for the next seven days. Be happy for others. Celebrate others. If they buy a new car, be genuinely happy for them. If you have money, give them to buy fewer. People of God, if they are getting married, show up at the wedding. Dance for the Ayapo Lokota. As you are dancing, you say you are our father. What you have done for one, you will do for another. As they are building a house, don't beef them. There is something in their own miracle that will lead to the birthing of your own. If I spoke about you, can you thunder a louder amen?